So, ladies and gentlemen, I got a lot of questions off of this. And what's even more disturbing, though, is I got a lot of non-questions, that people that got H's or even T's. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have a question, please write that question on your homework quiz. Because otherwise, I don't know what else I, what the answer to the question. I don't know where your um, misunderstanding is or not. All right? So if you have a misunderstanding, please make sure you guys write that down. Or if you have a question on what to do the problem. So the question asks, they give us a function, f of x equals negative x squared plus 6x minus 15. And what they ask us to do for this problem is to find the maximum and the minimum point, and then also determine the domain and the range. All right. So if you didn't write this down, Alex, you're probably going to want to write this down on a sheet of paper so you have it, either in your notes or not. All right. So the first thing we look at this, ladies and gentlemen, is remember, we got to talk about what do quadratics produce. So we wrote down in our... Um, notes that quadratics produce a graph that we call a parabola. Thank you. So our graph is either going to open up or it's going to open down. It's going to look something like that. And then what we talked about was the maximum point was right there or it has a minimum point. It's either one or the other. So what you need to do is determine what is that maximum point. All right, so to do that, if you guys remember, that point is what we call the what, Sean? Do you remember? Maximum point, which we call, it started with a V. Vertex, right? So how did we find the vertex? Well, what we remembered was the vertex went through the axis of symmetry. So the first thing I want to do is determine what is the axis of symmetry. So the axis of symmetry. is, if you guys remember the formula, opposite of b divided by 2a. Now, what was b and, two, what was b and a? Remember, all quadratics, all quadratic equations come in the form ax squared plus bx plus c, where a, b, and c are real numbers where a cannot equal 0. So in this formula, I say the axis of symmetry, or the x-coordinate of my vertex, is going to equal x equals opposite of b, which in this case is a negative 6, divided by 2 times negative 1, where b is negative 6 and a is negative 1. Anybody have any questions up to this point? No. So therefore, I figure this out, and I get the x coordinate equals 3. Right? So that means my x coordinate is equal to 3 and my vertex. So it's 3 comma what? So ladies and gentlemen, in a function, if you know one value, if you know the input or the x value, how do you find the y value? Yes, Sean? You plug it in for your x value, right? We, we know the x. We need to figure out the f of x or the output value. So what I do then is I take f of 3, and I get negative 3 squared plus 6 times 3 minus 15. This becomes a negative 9 plus 18 minus 15, which ends up giving me f of 3 equals negative 6. So if I was going to plot this, ladies and gentlemen, I don't really know exactly what this graph looks like. But I know right now that I have a point. My vertex is at 3, negative 6. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so my point's right there. Now I need to do is determine, is it a maximum or a minimum? What is that point? Is that the maximum or is that the minimum of the graph? So remember, there was a rule. There was a test we looked at. And that test said, whenever you had A was less than 1, I'm sorry, when A was less than 0, that means you had a maximum point. And when a was greater than 0, that means your vertex was minimal, was your minimum point. So we look at this, and we write down, we say, all right, what was my a? My a is negative 1, correct? So is a greater than or, or less than? Less than. So therefore, that means that's the maximum point, right? So my graph's going to look something like this, all right? I'm just going to, we're not going to work on sketching it right now. We'll do table values later. So my my maximum point looks like that. So we could say that's my vertex, which is a maximum point. So that's what you guys should have wrote for your maximum point. 
That is my vertex, which is a maximum point, because the graph opens down because of this rule that we worked on. Then the next thing that got students very confused was the domain and range. Remember, the domain is the set of all x values that are part of your graph. Ladies and gentlemen, look at these two parabolas. All right? And think about any parabola you've ever graphed or looked at. These parabolas are going to infinitely just keep on getting wider and wider. right? As they go up, they're going to keep on expanding. As they go down, they just keep on getting wider. So eventually, they are going to encompass every single x value that we have in the number system, every single one. So therefore, the domain for a quadratic, without any constraints, is going to be all real numbers. So your domain is going to go from negative infinity to infinity. Pick any value to be x. Emma, give me a value for x. 2. Is 2 a value? Yes, it's right there. Give me another one. 18. Probably be over here, right? But when you go down, will this graph eventually have a coordinate at 18? Yes. Right. And you could do negative 300 way over there. But it's still eventually, all the way down there, eventually it's going to have a point, correct? Because these graphs keep on expanding. However, the range is going to be the y values. So you look at where are the coordinate points. Uh, for all the y values, do I have a coordinate point? Well, all these negative numbers, yeah. But what about the positives? Nope. So when does it stop? Well, the highest y value that I have a coordinate point was my maximum. And my maximum was at negative 6. So my range is my lowest value, which was negative infinity, to my highest value, which is negative 6. I don't have a y coordinate higher than negative 6. right? What about when y equals 0? Is that a point on this graph? No. The highest y value is when y equals negative 6. So you go to lowest to your max. Does anybody have any questions on what I just did? No? OK.